guys, welcome back to another Jeff and Chi Do video. I'm Wan Chi. Today we're going to talk about our pergola roofing project. I'm always very appreciative if you could hit the like button and click subscribe and also turn on your notification bell. So this house came with the pergola already done and if you remember in the painting video the pergola was half roofed and the other half was just open. We thought that it would be a really good idea to actually roof the whole pergola. The reason is so that we get usability out of it and also it will provide some, some cover and protection to the pergola itself and also to the deck underneath it. We've considered a few few ways to roof the pergola. We looked at fabric like canvas and um, a friend also mentioned that we could put some wooden slats over the top of the pergola and it'll look really nice. However, with both those options, it's not quite weatherproof. For the slat option, we just thought that the maintenance of the the timber was just not really worth it. So we went with the original roofing that we had, which was PVC roofing. It's not too costly and also it's weatherproof. So we thought it was actually a good compromise. going to be priming the battens with this quick dry primer. So right now I'm just preparing these battens for the pergola and I'm just adding pocket hole screws. to come in and fill all these screw holes with the cork and then paint over them and then the pergola will then be done. As always, you want to first read up on the manufacturer's data sheet for instructions on how to install the roofing. All we had to get was the PVC roofing, we needed 11 sheets and then we got stainless steel fasteners. It comes with like a rubber seal so that water doesn't get through the holes. We start by first measuring where the holes should be drilled. They should ideally go through the purlins or the battens. So I measured up one sheet marked the holes and then drilled them. I then use this sheet as a template and I replicate them to all of the 11 sheets. This was the fastest way to get the holes drilled. However, the problem with that was the holes didn't always line up with the battens. So we had to customize the length of each sheet. Fortunately, the sheets are really simple to cut. I literally just use my scissors from the office and it just cut through it perfectly. And then the other thing that we noticed was quite important is you needed to have the 
oversized holes so that the sheets are allowed to expand and contract. And also the overlap between sheets, they need to face away from the prevalent wind in your area. This is so that the wind won't try and catch and lift up the, the sheets where it overlaps. So we've had the roof for about two weeks now and we're really happy with it. It has been raining and it's quite nice to be able to have a nice dry area to come in and out of the house. We're really looking forward to spend some time on the deck. I was thinking possibly, I'm not sure yet, but maybe we can make convert it into a temporary catio so our two little boys can go out and enjoy the sun. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.